Okay, we've got the very brand new 16 EV, the all electric model by Cherokee line, uh, which would typically be in the Wolf Pup line and it is on the Wolf Pup website. However, they're calling it the Wolf Den. I don't know if that means they're gonna be changing to uh, a new line or have another line or if this is gonna be the only Wolf Den but anyways, it's like a wolf pup, uh, just just uh, the cheaper version of one, essentially. So it's a decontented wolf pup. It's not going to have all the same features that other wolf pups have. Uh, it's EV, like electric vehicle, even though it's not a vehicle. Then again, neither was EV on the movie WALL-E, that Disney movie. Um, she did have wheels, though, and she was motor. Uh, I guess she was an EV. She was a motorized electric vehicle. This one's not motorized, but they, you get you get you get what they're trying to do, right? Okay. So it's called the 16. Uh, usually on wolf pups, that means approximately the length of the floor of the trailer box, even though it's closer to 17 foot. Uh, so 16 EV. That's the name. The Wolf Den. So it's. SUV towable, it's lightweight, 3,000 pounds, about uh, 21 feet, nine inches. So this will fit in most driveways, like the other Wolf Pups will. Um, as of August, uh, which is when I'll be making this video, uh, summer of 2023, here at DDRV, we're only selling these for 15,000. So they're very, very inexpensive trailers to just get you going. Uh, if you already have a generator, fantastic. Or if you're the type of person that only likes to camp at places that have the hookups, you don't really want to do too much off the grid. This is perfect for you because you need to be hooked up um, to have your fridge running at least. Uh, on any other Wolf Pup, you would need to be hooked up or have a generator to have your AC going. So that's kind of normal already. But on this occasion, there is no propane. So it does not have a propane driven water heater or burner stove or barbecue outlet like the other Wolf Pups have. Uh, that's where the battery would normally go. We give you a 12 volt battery. Uh, it does not include solar. Uh, we will be coming up with a solar package, a very inexpensive one for people that want to buy this and come up with the inverter, solar, etc. That way they can at least have their lights running, etc. while they're out and about. Uh, but I'll go over some basics for you, tell you what it has and more importantly what it doesn't have compared to the other Wolf Pups. Uh, so on the outside, first thing you'll notice right away is that it does have the TV mount and plug, of course, as they do on the inside, just as all the other Wolf Pups have. It does not have speakers, indoor or outdoor. So that's what you're giving up. Now, most people, if they're comparing this to a Wolf Pup, it's just a cheaper version of a Wolf Pup. But most people, I'm assuming, are going to be comparing this to other brands that are also inexpensive uh, and that is the reason they came up with this that's why they came out with this exact model is to compete with those other brands that are selling cheap trailers at a lower price and now you don't have the cheap trailer quality but you do get the lower price because you're foregoing a lot of features that the other wolf pups have so like a coleman for example uh, coleman will have a small bunk model uh, similar to this uh, I believe it's called the 17BH, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's very similar, very similar weight, similar weight, uh, blah, 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 weight and floor length. And it is also a bunk model, just as this one is. So uh, the differences are very pretty minimal, uh, but I'll tell you what they really are uh, on the Wolf Pups and on this Wolf Den, all Cherokee brand, in fact, will be 13,500 BTU. Whereas on the Coleman, I believe you're getting 8,000, so about half the size of the AC. Uh, here, you're getting a microwave convection oven and air 
air fryer. Ooh, air fryer. Now on the Coleman, you don't get that, but they do have a burner stove because they give you uh, propane. So those are two trade-offs there. Um, going back to the outside, this Wolf Den has a 12 foot awning, electric, of course. Uh, the Coleman has an eight foot awning. Uh, there's a few other small differences, but the propane, uh, AC and awning are going to be the major differences there. Otherwise you still get a similar layout. So uh, queen bed, camper queen. No headboard per se, but if you really want to have your own queen mattress in here, which you could easily do, uh, you just, you've still got six inches more room because these are trailer camper queens, which are six inches shorter than real queen mattresses. Uh, I like what they did with the overhead storage there. Really cool, clean look. Uh, they give you this big giant cabinet. If I were to add one thing, I would put like a some cheap $10 strut right there so I can be hands-free when I lift that out. Uh, you still get an outlet over here, uh, USB and USB-C over here as well uh, there is your tv mount on the inside so same mount on the outside you just take your tv flip it out take it outside pop it into the mount outside you get a very simple control panel here uh, check your battery in each of the tanks uh, they will be 26 gallon fresh tank 23 and 23 for gray and black reflect respectively uh, water pump and water heater are right here. That is a six gallon turbo jet electric water heater. Boy, does that sound really cool, but it's only six gallons, so it's not a lot. Uh, and a simple button for your awning in and out. Really simple, keeping it basic. Simple sink, nothing crazy there. Now this is your heater. Since you don't have a regular furnace that is propane driven like most other uh, trailers, you get the LED fireplace space heater, uh, 5,000 BTU. So it's definitely enough to warm it up in here and get it nice and toasty. Uh, you get a normal size fridge for a trailer this size, 3.3 cubic foot with a tiny little space for your freezer up there. So come Compared to the Wolf Pup, of course, it's quite smaller. One thing that's really cool about this, though, is you get tons of, you get a big pantry for such a small trailer. Usually, uh, you wouldn't get something like this on a, on any other Wolf Pup. They have this on the Gray Wolf, so something that would be, you know, larger than 25 feet, usually around 30 foot models is something that they would put this kind of pantry in. So you get lots of food storage. Ooh, the bathroom where all the magic happens. Uh, very normal. You don't get the uh, the sink, the shower sink, shink situation that's usually right there. So if you're gonna wash your hands, I guess you could just you know use that or walk out and go wash your hands in the sink. Same with brushing your teeth. Um, they put the skylight there instead of over there, which. I wish they would do on all wolf pups, but apparently they only do that on their larger models. I don't know why, because that should be right there in case you need headroom, right? Wouldn't that make sense? If you're a taller guy and this step up shower tub shub situation is making you hit your head on the ceiling. I mean, not for me, I'm, I'm not exactly the tallest, but uh, yeah, for a lot of other people, simple bunks. Simple light, LED light on each. And there's a dog bed down here. Or, you know, storage or for your third kid, who's your least favorite. <laughs> this small dinette, of course, does turn into a bed. So theoretically, two adults and possibly a baby, if you have to, sleeping right there. Two kids, uh, an adult would sleep down there. You don't really want to put a full-size adult up there because I think they're at 150 pounds uh, weight maximum. Uh, but you could theoretically fit another teenager right here. So at least one other adult and two other kids right here. You do, of course, have storage underneath these 
seats if you were to just you know throw these cushions away kind of bothered me they don't put a hole right there so you can just lift this out you have to kind of go like that there you go you got storage look at that underneath both of them um so if you are going to buy this trailer drill a hole right there so you just stick your finger in for a nice little finger hole for getting access to the storage under there uh, i don't think i showed you the storage under here but that is also accessible from the outside so it's not like it lifts up the platform like on other wolf pots and that concludes our tour of the entire 21 and a half you know roughly 17 foot box um simple steel wheels but they still give you the cool tire pressure monitor check so if it's green you're good and if you were to like let's say lose pressure pressure then it would be red or yellow and you could simply see ah oh, i need air i need to fill up so you don't have to physically check it every time you just look at it they only give you two jacks two in the back none down here and then you're just using your tongue jack as your front stabilizer. So only two regular jacks here. Uh, all the Wolf Pup and all Cherokee brands, all the entire line has a backup camera included. This one does not. Uh, it is neither prepped for backup camera either. They also decided not to give you a spare tire. They are really clinching down on the pennies on this one to get you as much savings as possible to keep it as simple as possible uh, so that you can still have a decent brand or you know a great brand number one selling brand in America in fact but at a lower price now one thing I do like that they're keeping which is pretty cool because they did this they just started doing this for 2024 Ooh, magnetic latches, fancy. And there's the uh, under the bed storage as seen from the outside. It's gonna be the most affordable SUV towable trailer that comes with a great reputation. The number one selling brand in America right here. So uh, to recap, let's go over all the things that you're not getting that you're, you would be sacrificing as compared to the Wolf Pup. Uh, the one thing that is similar is that giant 13,500 BTU AC. Uh, the same ones that they use on their 30 foot models over there. So that part's fantastic, that's excellent. Um, same electric 12 foot awning that is used on all the other Wolf Pups. That part is great too. Uh, Here's what you don't get. You don't get the speakers, as I mentioned earlier, indoor or out. You're not getting the giant 11 cubic foot fridge. You're not getting a backup camera. You are not getting the uh, solar that's usually included. You're not getting the tankless water heater. And you're also not getting a, a Wi-Fi router uh, or Wi-Fi, you know, just to, to plug something to plug your router in to create a Wi-Fi hotspot for your trailer. Um, they also just give you the steel wheels instead of the alloy wheels, which are on all the other Wolf Pups. And of course, four jacks instead of two. Uh, and the stairs. Uh, they use that really solid uh, aluminum stairs that touch the ground or that are adjustable. These are floating. So those are, those are all the major things that you're giving up. Now, if you were to just... Let's say you wanted to put the same amount of solar and inverter. That would cost you probably four grand, maybe five, depending on where you do it. Three minimum. Uh, let's just say four is a safe number for inverter and solar. Maybe more. Uh, if you wanted to install a backup camera, 500 bucks at least, $700. Um, let's say you wanted to put a tankless water heater. That's another three grand. So we're at uh, two more fingers beyond what I'm holding up here. So that's $7,000 right there alone. Um, fridge. You can't put a giant fridge in here because it's only got space for that smaller one. So 
Oh, and propane. Duh, I forgot about the propane. So now you don't have a, because you don't have propane, you can't do the tankless water heater. You also don't have a, a burner for the inside. You just have your all-in-one cooker, microwave, air fryer, convection, microwave situation that they started to do on all 2024 models. But if you're looking to get into something cheap, easy, fits in your driveway, can be towed by just about any vehicle with a hitch out there, just about, then here's your answer. 16 EV on sale now at DDRV for only $15,000, which is, we haven't seen a price like that in years. Well, I uh, hope that worked out for you. I hope it was enough information. I don't think I forgot anything. Uh, there's not too much to go over on this guy. It's pretty basic, but uh, you know, if you don't need it too, too many complications while you're camping, it might be perfect for you.